Double time! Double time! Oh! We keep it moving. Yeah, we keep it moving. What up, y'all? Got another one. It's your boy, Corona Boy Thirds. I'm back again with another, another mother freaking video. I just got off of CQ after work. I worked my freaking normal freaking shift. I freaking uh, did CQ, so total about 29, 30 hours today, bro. And for some reason, every time I get off work, for some reason, I'm always still wound up and I can't go right to sleep. Even on just a normal day when I don't have CQ, it's hard. It's hard for me to get home and settle down and it takes a while. If I get home at nine, I don't fall asleep till about 11 or 12 and then I turn back around and get up at three or four. So I don't know, this life is freaking crazy. The army life is crazy. No, nah, this life is crazy, but I don't know, man. I'm enjoying myself on the trail. But anyway, the point of this video that I wanted to show y'all, I just thought about it. I wanted to show you guys the difference between a poly, a polyurethane uh, campaign hat. This is for y'all males. Get ready to go to freaking drill sergeant school. Once you become a drill sergeant, uh, um, the difference between a polyurethane campaign hat and an, and an unpolyurethane campaign hat. Just so y'all can see the difference and yet some people, man, I'm not gonna poly my hat. You know what I'm saying? Just so you can see the difference of the two. So I have my first hat that I started wearing at the United States Army Drill Sergeant Academy. He said it. I got my first hat that I started wearing there. It's not polyed. I never I never polyed it because I when I first started using it, um, once I got once I got to my unit here and I, I was just wearing it on a normal basis it automatically started bowing. I think like the, in fact, the very first day that I went to go do my in-processing, it was raining outside that day and I didn't have a cover for it. The first thing you want to do is go to clothing and sales and get you a campaign hat cover. They come in small, medium and large compared for your size. So go look for this, go ask the freaking clerk in there. Hey, do you have covers for the freaking campaign hat? They'll show you where they are. They come in little plastic bags. You can get a gray one, a grayed out one, or you can get the, the white one, okay? The clear white one. I have both, I have both, just because I just wanted to see the difference between what they look like. Now, when you go and you do your first pickup, your day zero pickup, my first sergeant told us, because it was drizzling outside that day too, she told us, take those freaking covers off, it takes away from the effect, and I don't feel any intimidation at all. Well, not, she didn't say she didn't feel any intimidation, but she said, she said it's, if she feels like it takes away from it. So even on our pickup day, it was drizzling outside. We couldn't wear them. So my hat is, even though I've only been on the trail for like a month, you know, a month and a little bit of change, my hat has already been through some stuff. So let me put my freaking hat on real quick. And I'm going to show you what an unpolyed hat looks like, an unpolyed uh, campaign cover looks like. Okay. Let me show y'all real quick. Now this cover, I've been wearing this cover all day, all day yesterday. Mind you, I was in, I was indoors for most of the day yesterday. Um, I did go out, I did freaking push my soldiers, you know what I'm saying, all that good stuff, good stuff motivating them. Even this morning, uh, we had pictures today. So wearing it outside this morning in the heat and all that good stuff, you can see it's already curving up right here in the front. You can see it. It's already curving up, see? And they call it what they, you know, all the drill starts, they say it's warped or it's bowing or whatever the case may be. This is what your freaking hat is gonna start looking like. And this is only after, you know, a few months. I think I got my hat back in July, maybe July or the beginning of August. The beginning of August and today is it's the beginning of October. So it's about two months. And this is what I, this is me what I've gone through since September, really, I really started wearing it in September, like hardcore. So that's that. That's what that looks like. And it's just crazy, man. It's already coming. If I put this on the ground, if I put it on a flat surface, it'll be coming up. Let me see if I can show y'all. Look at that. Hold up. Up my freaking strap there. You see how it's coming up already? Even if I put it on the on the ground on the carpet, I can't really tell. Yeah, you can. Look, see how it's coming up? It's gonna start bowing. 
That's what an unpolished hat looks like. After being worn all day. Now I didn't put it in the press. All I do with this hat, I wear this, my primary hat, I wear this. And when I come home at night, I put it in the press for a few hours. And then I, I you know, next morning, I got it right back out again. So that's what the unpolished hat looks like. Let me show you what the polyed, a polyed hat, and this probably, this hat probably has about four coats. Four coats of poly. And I'm gonna show y'all what the can looks like. I gotta go get the paintbrush. I'll go get the paintbrush too, but I'm gonna show y'all what the can of poly looks like, okay? So this is my second hat with the poly. No, I think I pressed it once, once or twice. This is the hat with the poly on it. Nice and stiff. Nice and tough. Let's see if you can hear it different. Kind of hearing this one. And if you look on this one, you can kind of push in the top right there. Somebody show me that. You can kind of push in the top. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. On this one, my poly one, I can't push nothing in. Can't push it in at all. Let's do the flatness test. We're going to put it on the freaking carpet and see how flat it is. Check out this one compared to the other one. Look how flat that is on the freaking. Look, it doesn't come up at all. You see? Compared to that one. That one just sitting there coming bowed up. That one just sitting there flat. I poly that one about four times. I gave that one about four, four coats of poly, all right? So what you wanna do is you want to go to Lowe's, go to Home Depot. You want to get you some of this right here. All right. Get you some of that. The fast drying polyurethane clear satin. If you can get one of these, if you can get one of those, and that thing costs about, let's see. Six dollars ten cents. Six dollars ten cents for that for that little cam right there. I still got like I don't know five five eighths of a can left maybe. A little more than half a can left. I still got a lot left. And then I bought the paintbrush right. The paintbrush I brought got this kind of paintbrush right here, right? So this paintbrush has been sitting in the water and directly after I piloted it, I put it, put it in the water for about a week and it still, it still won't bend all the way. All right, so I don't know if you wanna, I don't know if I would suggest using this kind of paintbrush, though it worked good for mine, and but it, since it's been sitting in the water for a week, the poly's starting to like flake up on it. So now I don't know if I wanna freaking poly my freaking hat with it. I don't know if I wanna poly it my other hat so what a lot of people a lot of my freaking more seasoned battle buddies have been telling me is that they use a foam paintbrush a foam paintbrush but i have heard stories about when you use that foam paintbrush and you dip it in the poly and then it gets hard and then you go back and dip it in there again at, a, at another time and it falls inside your freaking poly so i don't know i don't know i'm gonna have to test it out and try it but you're gonna need you Something sharp to open up your poly cup, your little poly can. I got me some freaking scissors right here. And then, so I've seen videos where people use a square shaped milk crate. Those plastic milk crates. I use a metal, a metal trash can like this. A metal trash can. You can get these from Walmart. I got that one over there full of my Corona bottles right there. Got that from Walmart and it might fit on there. So what I do, of course you wanna take off your freaking band and take off your emblem up there. Take off your medallion. And just drop your hat on there like that. You drop your hat on there like that and you poly all the edges, poly the inside, all right? 
I originally thought that I put too much poly on because I saw the way it was soaking on this side back here on my, on my uh, poly one. I saw how it was soaking back there on that part. And when you do it, you want to make sure that you don't freaking put so much on that it comes through and drips through the holes and it comes out on the, on the outside, okay? I was told by one of my drill sergeant leaders, shout out to my drill sergeant leaders of, uh, of the Assassins, Squad 1-4, Right, so Platoon 1 and Squad 4 of the Assassins. My drill sergeant leaders, y'all know who y'all are. You know what I'm saying? From freaking class 11-18, 011-18. Right, so uh, my drill sergeant leader told me to not poly the outside because then the poly, it'll film up like a white film will come on the outside of it. So I'm not, I'm gonna do exactly what he told me to do. I'm gonna do it that way. So, but when your hat bows up like that, you might have to get something, something to put some weight in there. And I don't know if I would suggest putting any weight in your hat because what's gonna happen is it's gonna make a cone shape on the top. You put a lot of weight in there, it'll make a cone shape on the top. And then when you go to poly it, it's gonna stay like a cone. So, but um, I just wanna show y'all the difference between a polyed uh, campaign hat, drill sergeant campaign hat, and an unpolyed um, drill sergeant campaign hat. That way you can know if you wanna poly your hat or not. I'm, I definitely will freaking, um, I definitely recommend it. And what I want to do is start wearing my one that's poly, put my old one in the press for a few days or whatever. Maybe I'll dampen it up and then put it in the press and flatten it all out and then go and poly it after that. I haven't decided, but I don't know. I want to figure something out. I just want to show y'all the difference between the two hats. They're poly or not poly. That way you'll know if you want to poly your hat. Got it? All right. That's what's up. I appreciate you watching. It's your boy Corona Boy Thurs. Still, life on the trail. Drill Sergeant, life on the trail. All right? I appreciate y'all watching. Holla at your boy, man. I'm out.